Famous last words. Unveiling the final moments of legendary figures. Welcome to Science Deli, where we bring the fascinating world of science and history to life through captivating storytelling. Today, we're diving into the poignant, humorous, and reflective last words of some of the most legendary figures in history. Stay tuned to the end to discover what these famous personalities had to say in their final moments. Let us start with Che Guevara, a revolutionary icon whose defiant spirit shone through to the very end. As he faced his executioner, Che's last words were, Shoot, coward, you are only going to kill a man. A powerful reminder of his unyielding resolve. Next, we have John Belushi, the beloved comedian and actor. His last words, Just don't leave me alone, reflect a deep, human need for companionship in his final moments. John Wayne, the legendary actor, left us with a tender declaration to his wife. Of course I know who you are. You're my girl. I love you. Even in his last moments, his love shone brightly. Edith Piaf, the iconic French singer, offered a final reflection on life with every damn fool thing you do in this life you pay for. A poignant reminder of the consequences of our actions. Even in his final moments, the great mathematician Archimedes was dedicated to his work. His last words were, Stand away, fellow, from my diagram. Truly a testament to his life's passion. Muhammad Ali, the greatest boxer of all time, faced death with peace and acceptance. He said, I am in no pain. No pain. Don't cry for me, Rahman. I'm going to be with Allah. I made peace with God, I'm okay. Rahman, how do I look? A heartfelt message of comfort to his brother. Frida Kahlo, the brilliant artist, left us with a profound statement. I hope this exit is joyful and I hope never to return. Her words reflect her complex relationship with life and death. Emily Dickinson, the reclusive poet, said, I must go in, for the fog is rising. A poetic and metaphorical farewell befitting her literary genius. Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of the United States, made a wry observation. A dying man can do nothing easy. Even at the end, his wit remained intact. Inventor Thomas Edison gave us a hopeful glimpse into the afterlife with his last words. It is very beautiful over there. Coco Chanel, the fashion icon, said to her maid, You see, this is how you die. A practical and straightforward remark. Humphrey Bogart, the classic Hollywood star, bid farewell to his wife with, Goodbye, kid. Hurry back. A poignant and loving goodbye. Winston Churchill, the indomitable British leader, expressed his weariness with life in his last words. I'm bored with it all. Marie Antoinette, facing execution, apologized to her executioner with, Pardon me, sir. I did not do it on purpose. A final act of courtesy. Nostradamus, the famous seer, made a self-fulfilling prophecy with his last words. Tomorrow I shall no longer be here. Leonardo da Vinci, the Renaissance genius, humbly critiqued his work, saying, I have offended God and mankind because my work did not reach the quality it should have. Princess Diana's last words, Oh my God, were a shocked reaction to the fatal car accident that took her life. Joan Crawford, the Hollywood star, defied sentimentality with, Damn it. Don't you dare ask God to help me? Truman Capote, the brilliant author, simply said, Mama, reflecting a deep bond with his mother. Steve Jobs, the visionary behind Apple, left us with a mysterious, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. George Harrison, the Beatle, urged us to love one another. A beautiful message of peace. Bing Crosby, the legendary crooner, cheerfully ended his life with, that was a great game of golf, fellas. John Lennon, tragically shot, said, I'm shot. A stark realization of his fatal injury. Josephine Baker, the performer, playfully remarked, oh, you young people act like old men. You're no fun. Ludwig van Beethoven, the musical genius, said, Friends applaud, the comedy is over. A dramatic final curtain call. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, said, I'm going to the bathroom to read. A mundane statement before his sudden death. Groucho Marx, the comedian, quipped, Die my dear? Why? That's the last thing I'll do. A fittingly humorous end. Michael Landon, the beloved actor, said, You're right. It's time. I love you all.
a loving and peaceful farewell. Jane Austen, the literary genius, starkly expressed her suffering with, I want nothing but death. Karl Marx, the philosopher, disdainfully said, Get out of here and leave me alone. Last words are for fools who haven't said enough already. Joe DiMaggio, the baseball legend, poignantly remarked, I finally get to see Marilyn. Reflecting on reuniting with his lost love, Marilyn Monroe. Errol Flynn, the swashbuckling actor, gave a fitting self eulogy with, I've had a hell of a lot of fun and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Frank Sinatra, the legendary singer, candidly acknowledged his failing health with, I'm losing it. Lucille Ball, the queen of comedy, made a simple request, my Florida water. Asking for her favorite scent. And finally, Michael Jackson, the king of pop, tragically pleaded, I would like to have some milk. Please, please give me some more. A poignant reminder of his struggles. These final words offer a glimpse into the last moments of some of history's most fascinating figures, reflecting their character, beliefs, and even their sense of humor. What do you think your last words would be? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Science Deli for more captivating stories, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and stay curious.